Why would you do that? All right, today we're going to be taking a look at tire sealant. You can see this is our John Deere Model 6410, and both steer tires are completely flat. And I believe the bead is actually broken on them as well from being so flat. So we got to fix all that. But what we're going to be using to fix that is tire jacked in one tire, and then we're going to be comparing it to slime in the other tire. Now, uh, the good people at Tire Jack were kind enough to send me a gallon of their product because I did want to do a comparison. I went to the auto parts store and I actually purchased this slime sealant. It is the most commonly available tire sealant on the consumer market. It's what you're going to walk into an auto parts store and find. So what better to compare against than that? Now we'll come over here. You can see this tire is flat. Uh, this tire actually has a plug right there, if you can see, and that plug is where it's leaking from. So this tire on the right side is going to get the tire jack sealant. Now, both the tire jack and the slime include a little valve stem remover tool. So our tire jack comes with this installation syringe. You remove the little plug. And the little plug is actually where their included stem remover is. And like I said, if you're only doing a tire or two, that's going to work perfectly for you. You can see the syringe, the injector is labeled for volume. So you can see how much you're putting in. And they say on front tractor tires, you want to use between, what was it? Let me look here. Let's see here. If we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. Uh, 8 to 16 ounces for front tires. This only goes up to 5 ounces. I'm going to give this two full syringes. So we're going to put 10 ounces of tire jacked in this right side tire. I don't think I have to shake it up, but I did. That's about 5 ounces there. Take our little syringe. Push it in. Remove the tool. Now in order for this to be a fair test, I am going to follow the installation instructions for both of these products. But one thing to note with the tire jet is it does say if you put in the recommended amount and for whatever reason it does not seal, add an additional two ounces. The bead has broken, so we are going to have to jack this thing up. To reseat it. Hopefully just getting the weight off of it is going to be enough. Yeah, that seated our bead. As you can see, I had it jacked up off the ground and now I can't, can't rotate it anymore. So that's good. What is the pressure on this thing? Max load at... Where's the PSI? 50... 52 PSI is what we're going for. That is almost 52 PSI right on the nose. Now we're going to come over... What in the world? Really? Why would you do that? Alright, take a look at this with me. See my... See my valve stem on the inside here? Let's go around. See my valve stem on the outside here? Uh, these are the same wheel. For some reason, they just have this one mounted the opposite way. So we're going to jack that up and fix that too. All right, now I want you, to, you guys to see this. This is the impact and the same battery I used to do the shocks on that Freightliner yesterday. And we still have three out of four bars of battery life. That's pretty good. So the tire jack actually lists tractor tires on their thing, and they say 8 to 16 ounces, depending on the size of the tire. We use 10. Notice on the slime here, for uh, trucks and SUVs, it says use 20 ounces, golf carts 20 ounces, ATVs and mowers 24 ounces. So I'm going to say we would be, looking at the size of this particular tire, uh, we would be approximately a truck SUV, so we're going to use 20 ounces. So slime actually calls for more than uh, 
well, we're gonna put in twice as much slime as we did tire jacked. And the slime calls for anywhere from a little over double the amount to at least four ounces more. Because remember, tire jacked said max needed typically would be 16 ounces, and slime says use 20. And it says on top here, show you guys that too, dispenses approximately one ounce per pump. So we now note the, uh, the tire jacked injector actually threaded on the slime, you just stick the tube over the end of the valve stem. There we go. And their tubing is broken. I'm not gonna fault slime for that. It's single digit temperatures out here and this little plastic tubing uh, sucks. But if I cut that off short enough, I'm not gonna have room for the pump to work. So we're not even gonna mess with this. We are gonna attempt to use the tire jet injector syringe to put in the slime because the little slime injector pump thingamajig uh, is not gonna work in single digit temperatures because the little hose broke. And remember this calls for 20 ounces of product. This little syringe maxes out at five ounces so we're gonna have to put in four full syringes to do the same job that we did with two full syringes of the tire jack product. Oh, this stuff is cold. That's, that's no good. Now the tire jack and the slime were both stored in my unheated garage together. And yes, it is cold, but you guys can see this stuff is not pouring nearly uh, as easily as the tire jack did. This is like big globs of stuff. What is that? Folks, we may have had a failure. Not a critical failure, not a job ending failure, but I think my slot, my uh, tire jacked injector syringe is cracked. Which again, I am not gonna fault tire jacked for that either because it is really freaking cold out here. Watch right there see that that damp spot underneath the label that is a crack there we go 52 psi let's see if my i don't think this jack is going to be tall enough to put this tire on now that it has air in it and it is not not even All right, so we have slime in this tire, tire jacked in this tire, and just to be fair, since this one was leaking down a little bit, already leaked back down to about 38 PSI, that is not the fault of tire jack. The reason that happens is this plug here is leaking. With this plug situated where it is, the tire, uh, the sealant can't get to it. So I'm gonna inflate this tire back up to 50, 52 PSI. Then we're gonna go use this tractor to feed the horses. That'll give that tire sealant in both tires the chance to move around and kind of distribute itself and get everywhere we need it to go. You guys can see I've got our new block heater plugged in. I've got our mag heater plugged in. I'm just gonna pull it off as well as unplug it. Like I've told you before a couple times, it is single digit temperatures out here and you guys know from previous videos that typically this 6400 will not start in the cold. All right, so we're gonna give this block heater some time to warm this tractor up. Uh, then we'll get it started and go feed some horses.
All right, so behind me is the John Deere 6410 that we put tire sealant in on Monday evening. It is now Thursday evening, and we're gonna take a look and see what kind of air pressure we have in this tractor. Now, the weather here has been cold all week. It's been, uh, you know, we've had some days with highs in the 40s, some days with highs in the, in the 20s. So we're gonna start here with our slime tire. And you can tell this is our slime tire because if you guys remember, we flipped this wheel over and we have this rust spot on the wheel. So we are gonna go right there. And we have, hope you can see that, focus. We're gonna call that 20 PSI in our slime tire. Now, if you guys remember, we pumped both of these tires up to uh, 52 PSI. This tire is our tire jack tire. It is on the right side of the tractor. You can see we didn't have to flip this rim over. It was already facing this way. So we're gonna check this one. And we are at 10, 12, 14, 16. We're gonna call that 16 PSI. Now, one thing I want you guys to remember, we're talking about this slime tire and it has lost more air, but this little, uh, this old tire plug, that old repair, was leaking when we filled this tire up. This tire sat here and leaked for a day before I could get this tractor started and drive it to uh, to spread the sealer around inside the wheel. So I'm gonna air both these tires back up to about 50 PSI and I'm just gonna keep, a, keep an eye on this and keep you guys informed over the next few videos so you can see which one of these tire sealers between slime and tire jack really works better over the long haul. So subscribe if you wanna keep up on that. I've got New Holland parts in my truck that are about to be going on. There's gonna be a video coming on that real soon. And I've got another interesting truck project coming in that uh, should be coming up toward the end of the week. So thanks for watching and more later.